I got a very funny man coming to the stage. He works all over town. He is great. Give it up for Mark Stetson, everybody. Mark Stetson. certain I almost killed a homeless man today. <laughs> if not, I definitely did kill him. I, no, I'm serious. It's freaked me out all day. Like, I was, I was turning the corner on 8th Avenue, and suddenly my foot gets locked in something that feels like a mouth. And the next thing I know, I'm dropped. I'm, like, on the floor, on top of a homeless man. And the, the horrifying part isn't the fact that that happened, but it's the fact that he didn't make a sound. So I'm sitting there just like, hey, hey buddy, hey. Oh shit, oh God. And I'm standing there, I have no idea what to do. Like, I, I don't know, what, like, what, what do I call 911? Do I sling him over my shoulder and pay the seven bucks to get him into comics? Like, or like, what do I do? Like, like do I light him a blaze on a pyre like, like Darth Vader at the end of Return of the Jedi? Like, what do I do? So. I did nothing. I just kept walking. I guess I didn't really care that much. Um, but it's really been tearing me up ever since. Um, but I, um, it made me think of something. It made me think of how, you know every time a homeless man comes up to you and says something like, excuse me sir, can I have a dollar for a sandwich or a small fry? <laughs> and of course you give it to him and then about 10 minutes later, as you're walking back, you see him like smoking crack in the alley. And you go up to him and you're like, hey man, I thought I gave you that money for a sandwich. And he's like, sorry man, you want some? And of course, and of, you know, you don't want to be rude, so of course you have some. <laughs> and then, you know, and then you have to get that blowjob from the prostitute in the dumpster, you know? And then you go back to work making pizzas. <laughs> Am I the only one that, that happens to? What, I'm the only one who makes pizza here in this room? I don't know. Um, but, like, what happens to me is every time a homeless man comes up and asks me for a dollar, I, the first thing that comes to mind is, well, he's just going to use that money for drugs. But then I, th I thought about it. Where in New York can you get drugs for $2 and a handful of change? You know? Like, they've got something figured out that we who are paying 60 bucks for an eighth obviously don't. <laughs> so the next time it happens, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, sir, here's $20, take me to your dealer. <laughs> Cause I wanna get fucked up for $2.37. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know, man. I'm feeling shitty. I just feel sick. I, I'm finally getting to that point in my life where, where the philosophy of you know, the, you know, the first, you know, so, uh, you know the, as soon as you say, I'm getting sick, that's when you start getting sick. Like, that whole philosophy doesn't work. Because people get sick sometimes, you know? Sometimes you have to pop a couple of Tylenol. Or a Midol, if you're a, you know, especially sensitive gentleman. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I used to have this girlfriend who, every time I got sick, would say, oh, you better not get me sick. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I just, I thought that getting a stomach virus and puking for 36 hours straight was so much fun that I just wanted you to have the same experience. So today while you're at work, I slept on your side of the bed so that my sick viral sweat could seep into your pillow, which I also drooled profusely on. So if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head, head over to the bathroom and be Montezuma's bitch for the next six hours. Man, that was a great relationship. Yeah, you know, you know you're an especially wonderful relationship when you find yourself saying out loud, man, can't wait till I'm single. <laughs> yeah. This is a terrific relationship. But speaking of poking holes in the sheet of love, I wrote, a, I wrote on the train to the Hasidic Jew the other day. What? What, did it take too long to get to that transition? Like a Hasidic Jew walking to synagogue on, a, on the Sabbath? Yes! Yes! and Stetson sticks the landing on the audible transition. The Russian judge goes wild. Um, it's okay, there's a little outside. You'll get it. Just watch the Olympics on YouTube. 
Um, but yeah, I was riding on the train with a Hasidic Jew, and, and now, like by Hasidic Jew, like I don't mean like by Jew, I don't mean like a John Stewart Jew. I mean like Tevye from Fiddler on the Roof kind of Jew. You know, <laughs> that was for the musical theater majors. Yes, and I just added myself as a theater major. But it's okay, don't worry. You know, I'm not gonna tear down the fourth wall like Brecht. No? Yeah. Man, I gotta start playing theater schools. Um, but yeah, so finally, I was, I was riding the train with a Hasidic Jew, and like, I, I, I don't know, like, I, I mean, I, I'm a Jew. So like, I, I, I've noticed that Hasidic Jews sometimes don't necessarily have the same kind of social tact um, as, as, as other people, where when they find something to stare at, they're staring at it, no matter how much you stare at them back. And he was just grilling me. He was just, <laughs> flew out of his beard. Um, and like he starts making his way towards me very slowly and deliberately, like he had the Ten Commandments in his, in his briefcase handcuffed to his wrist. And he goes, are you Jewish? Now, like I said, I am a Jew, but I wanted nothing to do with this conversation. <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I'm not. Never mind. <laughs> and he starts moving away, and, I, and, like, and now at this point, I am hooked. Like, if I wasn't a Jew, like, like I would, like, he, he's convinced me, I'm converting. Like, I needed to know what he wanted to ask me. So I, I followed him all the way to his stop in Bushwick. My stop was like, it was Union Square. Like I was far from home. And I made my way over to him. Uh, even though I'm not a Jew, is there any way that I can help? No. Okay, look, I'm sorry, I lied, okay? I, 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 look, I'm really, I'm really a Jew. Look, 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 look. Here, here's my bar mitzvah poster that all my friends signed with me as Charles Barkley and, and, and Darth Vader burning in the background. Don't ask why. Look, I, I'm, seriously, I, I'm, I'm circumcised. Here, here, talk to my mother. Mark, Mark, you never call, you never come home. See? I'm a Jew. It's not that easy. And he left. What? I'm, I was dumbfounded. I was just... I was just left there with the one thought in my head as, what are the Jews planning? <laughs> and why haven't they asked me? So I picked up my poster. <laughs> just lit it ablaze and sang the Star Wars theme song. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Chevy Chase from Caddyshack. Thank you very little. Mark Stetson in the house.